Do you ever wonder if any of this is even real? I mean, like, it really doesn't make much sense that you can just mash a bunch of slime together and it makes a slime block, you know? What even is a slime block? Like, a cube of slime? That's kind of weird, right? What's up with that? And why is there always this big ugly face staring at me all the time? I don't get that at all, but it's really creeping me out. Uh huh. Yeah, anyway, welcome back to another segment in the Ninja's World Project. Um, apparently they sent this guy to watch over me because I've been quote unquote too self aware lately. I don't know, it's really weird. I'm just gonna turn it off for now. I I think that was off. It's probably fine. A wandering salesman showed up. Not that one. Don't give him the credit. Uh, a wandering salesman showed up while I was working on the iron farm. Up there. Yeah. Um, and he was selling the last sapling variant that I still didn't have. So I was super psyched about that. Uh, he wanted like five emeralds for it, and I was almost not going to get it because I haven't actually mined any emeralds yet, um, but I was already working on the iron farm, or I guess just kind of waiting outside of it, letting iron kind of uh, spawn while I uh, dug some of the land below, and... Um, I decided to just take a chance and see what the villagers in the in the tanks were trading for. And as it would happen, I had uh, pretty much everything on hand that they uh, were willing to give out some emeralds for. So I think just for a little bit of hay and some clay, um, I was able to get the five emeralds and uh, make the trade happen. So. I officially have every wood type in the game, and I'm really excited to see how this looks when it grows. I've never seen one in person before, uh, only on YouTube videos, and I guess uh, the one that's on the menu screen all the time, so <laughs> I guess I've kind of seen it before, but uh, not really. Um, I feel like if you don't actually have one in your own own world, it doesn't really count too much, you know? Um, so, I forgot to bring bone meal with me, uh, hopefully it's just gonna grow on its own, uh, but somehow I doubt it. Anyway, uh, the plan for today is, uh, gonna be pretty easy going, uh, the last few episodes have been... Uh, pretty technical, um, you know, with building and uh, making machines and stuff like that. So I want to do a little bit of exploring this time around, and I'm going to do that in the nether dimension because I haven't really done too much over there yet. I just gathered some basic materials like quartz and uh, some of the wood types and... Uh, um, some basalt and stuff like that uh, but all of that was just really close to the portal uh, ideally today I want to try and find another fortress uh, so that I can get uh, the materials I need to make a potion set up uh, I'm still <laughs> not at all ready to add another room to the top of the starter house but uh, I do want a potion room to be uh, the thing that goes above the the auto smeltery, uh, and I really need to commit to just finishing the floors that I already started. But you know, it's a lot easier to start projects than it is to finish them. So I'm gonna start doing something else today, and uh, you know, we can cross the bridge of finishing things when when it comes. I'm not too worried about that. Is this really not going to grow? 
<laughs> okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get some bone meal. Oh wow. <laughs> Oh man, that looks so sweet. Oh, the leaves. That is a nice touch. I love the falling leaves. Oh wow. <laughs> oh man. I almost don't even want to chop it down, but if I want any more saplings, I kind of have to, huh? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love that. Okay, I'm definitely gonna start growing these around the area. That's like a must, right? These look so good around here. Wow. <laughs> I'm really happy they added these to the game. Uh, they're not too big. You know, bigger than the average tree, but smaller than some of the really large ones. So, I can still plant them in the tree farm that I already made and uh, they should work there. Uh, there's no reason that they wouldn't anyway. Uh, let's see some of the stuff that we can make with it. So, first of all, the planks look really cool. Yeah, that's a pretty cool color. Honestly, it's um, probably what the jungle planks always should have been. <laughs> um... I mean, the ones now are okay, but if I'm thinking pink wood, this is definitely uh, the type of wood that I would want. Um, but now we have both, so I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, what else do we got here? Got new trap doors. These are actually really cool looking. I haven't seen these before. <laughs> it's funny that I put it on top of the crafting table because it fits perfectly with the uh, item slots. There's a little like grating on it that uh, lines up pretty much exactly. It actually looks kind of cool. I'm sure you can make doors with it too. Yep. Oh wow. Yeah, these are really cool. Buttons. These really look like nipples. Seems like they press down for a really long time. Is this the same with every wooden button? Or are these like especially long? I don't know. Maybe I'm going crazy. I, I think it's probably just like this for every wooden button, right? It seems like these are pressed forever, though. Uh, okay. <laughs> we need to try something. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just tripping out. It's like that with every wooden button. I guess I don't really use wooden buttons for redstone stuff too much, so I didn't realize, like, how long they get pressed for, right? I mean, that is different than stone buttons for sure. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about that too. No, yeah, see, stone buttons are way shorter. Okay, I knew there was a difference. <laughs> um, but I think all wooden buttons are the exact same. Either that or the difference is so slight that I can't even, uh, like, perceive it.
think I'm about ready to go into the nether. I made myself some food. I have a backup lighter, just in case. I have my swappable gold armor. I made some cauldrons, uh, just so I can use uh, the cauldron trick to uh, bring my water in with me, just in case things get kind of bad. Uh, do you mind? Can't do anything without this thing breathing down my neck. I'm just gonna go. Are you lost? Anyway. I... I think I have everything that I need. Uh, the plan is to ideally find a stronghold. I want to get out of here with some blaze rods. Um, so if we can do that by the end of the episode. If we can do that by the end of the episode, I'll be pretty happy. <laughs> I did that already. Oh man. No! Oh, that was scary. Is he coming towards me? Oh man. That's so nasty. He's like a. Lone Ranger of the Fire Sea. Hi. Oh, he is coming towards me. That one has a saddle on it. Huh. I kind of want to hijack it. I wonder if I could. Hmm. I would need the fishing rod though. I don't know if I can get it without him falling in the lava. Is it worth it? I don't know. If I had string on me, I'd do it, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm just scared of getting any uh, onlookers that I'm not aware of mad at me and uh, really making my time out here tough. With my render distance as low as I have it, it's gonna be kind of tough to find one of these. Oh, that's a scary sound. Yeah, this is going to be too tough. I think I need to up my render distance a little bit, even though I am recording. So, my performance will probably be a little bit worse, but... Um... I need to make it easier to find a stronghold. Oh, the sounds in this biome are <laughs> really cool. It sounds like someone's whispering in my ear in a creepy way, but in a cool way. I don't know how to explain it. When you're wearing headphones, it's really crazy. There's a lot of skeletons around here. I forgot to bring arrows with me, uh, but I actually don't think that's gonna be an issue. 
with my pals here. Oh, <laughs> not getting any arrows from that guy. Don't fall down there on me. That's better. Sweet. Okay. That didn't take very long at all. That's another fortress. Um, awesome. Yeah, so we're totally going to be able to find blaze rods by the end of the episode. I hope. <laughs> uh, should probably knock on wood before it turns out that this fortress doesn't have any, any blaze spawners whatsoever. Yeah, I thought that was going to take a few hours. It only took like 20 minutes. Um, and I haven't even been uh, going at a particularly speedy pace, so I got pretty lucky. I actually think uh, since the update, it's uh, a lot tougher to find genuine fortresses than it is to find the bastions, so um, I'm happy that I found this before that. Uh, let's see if we can get up into it. Uh, I'm crawling through here. Nice. Oh, is that? <laughs> is there a specific achievement for breaking into it rather than just like coming in peacefully? That's funny. part where I loot. This is fun. Probably gonna get some good stuff here. Uh, but blaze rods are really the only thing I'm interested in. And some nether wart, I guess. Is uh, pretty important. Here's the wart shrooms. So that's one thing taken care of, and now I really just want the blaze rods, and then uh, everything else we do this episode will be purely extra. Gotta focus, don't want to get withered, really don't want to get withered. <laughs> um, these things are always way bigger than you realize, I mean it might seem like there's nothing, but there is something. I think I actually hear a blaze. Yeah, I totally do. Okay, we're good. Um, I think they might have changed it to where they just uh, spawn in these fortresses naturally a lot of the time too. They don't necessarily need to come from spawners. What is this? <laughs> Uh, that's new. <laughs> this looks like something from a mod. Smithing template rib armor trim. Um, they must have added something with the smithing table, right? It says a smithing template rib armor trim. Hmm. Okay. That's something that we'll mess around with at the end of the episode. That's gonna be a bonus thing. I have <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Um, huh. That's cool. The game is always surprising me. I say that now, like it's like something cooler, uh, fancy, but it's probably gonna be like absolutely nothing, like a poisonous potato type item. Did I find this uh, chest already? No, this is new. I already have three flint and steels. I don't need a fourth, but thanks for the offer. Snatch these up. Oh no! I let it happen. <gasps> okay. I hope this still works. Oh, 
I messed it up. Bringing a knockback sword here was a really bad idea. Mm. Yeah, I don't need four of these. Cool. Uh, so I'm just going to keep going for a while until I get a few more. Uh, I don't think that one came from a spawner, so I'm guessing that I am right. And they do just spawn naturally sometimes, so... If there really isn't a spawner in this fortress, I'm just gonna run around for a while and collect some blaze rods until I have enough, and then I'll head back. Yeah, I definitely haven't been here yet. Okay, this is it. This is the ticker. The kicker? The key? I'm just combining words. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That's what we want. Here's the moment of truth. I'm just gonna put a cauldron down and sit in it. And see if that protects me from anything. Sweet, yeah, <laughs> they can't set me on fire. They can still melee me. Mm. And fly up. Yeah, it was a horrible idea to bring a knockback sword. I don't know why I didn't think that that would be a, a non-issue. Oh man, it had to fall down there, huh? None of these vines are long enough to crawl back up either. Whatever. I have a literal spawner of these things. I don't need to go for it. Whoa! That actually hurt quite a bit. I need to be careful. Did they take it? Oh, no! I didn't know they could, um... Burn it up. Okay. I need to be smarter. Probably hide in here. It's like a nice little chamber that kind of naturally will protect me, I would hope. Killing them with my bow might be the move, honestly. They definitely burnt it up.
that was a really close call. I, uh... Um... Toto? I think we're a long way from Kansas. Oh man. My inventory got all messed up. What? What just happened? Oh no, just when I thought I got home. Uh-uh. <laughs> this isn't right at all. Oh no. Um My sword and bow are different too. How do I get out of here? Something's trying to kill me. Uh, I gotta be really careful how I play this. I'm already about to die. Just gotta get to land. Anytime now. Okay, <laughs> that was scary. I think we're good. I guess I can eat my shirt. I wish I could eat it more. I'm kind of scared to eat a potato uh, in a place where they're watching me from every angle. To be honest. <laughs> uh, that one looks like it's staring right at me. And I don't really like that. Yeah, this is pretty different. Uh, I wonder if I can find some sort of civilization to help me out. Otherwise, I don't think I'm going to be able to survive in this strange land. Hmm. It seems like someone might have been here. <laughs> oh, that's weird. What is this? Ow. Okay, I need to be careful how I navigate this place. That works. Some non-potato based sustenance would be uh, much appreciated right now. Um, we got some potatoes flying around, cause why wouldn't we? A pig tato. Hey, Spud Chop. How's it hanging? The potatoes are turning the zombie into their own. That's horrifying. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna have to call it another episode here. Uh, we're kind of running over the usual time, and uh, I'm still pretty far away from home, uh, which was not part of the plan, so I'm going to have to try and find uh, some sort of shelter to protect me from the uh, deep potato night, and... Uh, Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of scared right now. I think I really have to focus on that. Um, so until next time, I guess I'll see you around.